welcome back to my channel it's your girl precious Oyeleke. if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber please welcome 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 once again please do well to like share and subscribe and share these videos to your friends your loved ones and anyone you feel that will be edified by the content we're going to be discussing in this video so today i'm going to be talking about you know domestic violence in relationships because Many people just talk about oh, let's talk about domestic violence in marriage, but most people don't try to talk about domestic violence in relationship. So today we're going to be shedding more light about it. So without further ado, let's go right into today's video. So I've, I've so far in this my few years of growth in this life, I've seen I've come across so many individuals that you begin to hear oh. And the guy used to, the guy used to beat me. The guy loves me. He cares for me. That's the only way he can show me love. That's the only way he can show that he loves me. And I'm always perplexed. I'm always shocked. I'm like, how can a guy express expression of love to you be by beating you or by emotionally draining you? Because some guys will not necessarily beat you, but the words from their mouth is more than enough to beat you and finish your life. I've come across some individuals that they study the get that oh you can never amount to anything in life. If not because of me, will you be where will you be, will you be where you are today? You know, because of me, will you go to school? You know, because of me. And I'm like, thank you, sir. Thank you for sending me to school. But still, you have no right to boss my life like that. I should still be in charge of my life. So if you're a lady and you're watching this video and your guy is someone that you know is eating you or you no know, domestic violence, please I will say leave that relationship relationship is not a do or die affair if the guy is not interested again today god will send someone better as long as you're ready to work on yourself someone better someone that will that will do all those things i will still count it as nothing you know when the scripture was saying that you should marry someone you should be submitted to like um, husband love the wife as christ loved the church you know what christ did christ still after everything christ did for us still christ counted this as nothing like it could sit down the cross for every one of us without even counting on what he has done like oh i did this i did that and we still we still said we still said oh persecuting 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 but christ still never used that against us so how much more we individuals like we when we are following our, our boyfriend and our boyfriend is, and he's trying to eat you trying to insult you some guys are so quick are so quick to insult a lady i was having a conversation in the course of this week with my boss at work and one of our one of our one of my fellow colleague there and I was like, oh, I was like, ah, the way I do now, I'll just eat you. I was just saying it jokingly. And the guy was like, no, I can never eat him. That it is a guy that must eat a lady and not a lady eating a guy. That if the girl is my function, is she's misbehaving, that, that he as a guy has the right to hit her. You know, everything in my brain scattered. You people should trust me. I came right for the ladies. Please, I'm a partial feminist, if you don't know. And I was like, no, 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 no. You have no right to eat your wife. If I know, can I, most people that can get you angry the most is going to be your spouse. And you have no right to eat her. No matter, no matter the level of annoyance she's going to bring towards your way, the best thing you can do is to work out. And when you work out and you have calmed yourself down, they can now go back and meet you like have conversations with ah that I don't like the way you did, I don't like your man of approach, I don't like this. When you are calm and you are less angry, that is when it's better to her. And you should do that fast. All right, the scripture says that how many times should we forgive? It says 70 times, 70 times, seven times, and that is per day. And how can one person offend you for your 90 times in a day? We are not a rich craft. Even witchcraft said they cannot offend a witchcraft up to 490 times in a day. I mean, one person. It's not possible. And I say, if you can, if a person can offend you 490 day, 90 times in a day, then you should you know that's level. By this 490 one time, that is when you should like say, oh, I'm not forgiving you again. But it's not possible by this. It's not possible. So please, I want to urge anybody that is experiencing domestic violence in a relationship, please use the door. And most of the time that this domestic violence is to occur in relationship is when, um, the lady is most likely living in with the guy. That is when this thing is most likely happen. Or when the lady moves in with the guy, that is when you begin to you begin to give marital commitment, a wife commitment to a relationship standard base like boyfriend girlfriend. You are doing commitment. You are doing wife duties. You are cooking for him, washing his clothes, tidying his house. I'm not saying it is bad. I'm just saying that I didn't do giving that much commitment. So you yeah, already see your lapses. And this is something that when you are married, you're like, oh, I can work on him. I have no choice. I will adapt. 
but it's still relationships that like, can be like i'm youth someone like me i'm youth no but you can't you can't you can't begin to use words against me and i'm someone that i'm only i what gets to me easily like i don't like it when people begin to use some hateful words to me i really don't like it so if i'm not in a relationship with a guy and the guy is like using words using words with me emotional this is emotional psychology i will do well to use the door because my mental health is way better than that relationship at hand if i'm better mentally the relationship will, it will get better we will get better in our relationship but if i'm not better mentally please i will use the door it is relationship not marriage marriage is the way we are like we are in this forever relationship is not a door that i fear if it is turning to too much it is beating if a guy should eat you once I share this with someone. If a guy should eat you once, please, please, we discuss the rest on phone. He say, I'm sorry. I'll not do it again. He say, don't worry. Let us take break. Emotional break. That slap break. I'm taking it. Because for a guy to raise up his hand to eat you, ah, if he did it once, he will do it again. If he did it once, he will do it. That's, that's, and that's the way, that's the way, like, most guys have been positioned. Like, and it's not their fault. I was in a particular story one time. A particular mother was sharing it. Like um, a guy was saying that in his family, his father told him that he must beat his wife so that his wife can be more submissive to him. And I was like, what kind of stupid culture is the father raising that he must beat his wife? So that means someone like that for me in relationship will first give the girl throw her one slap bar and the girl must still stay. And we are since like on Shamida, like I thought our, our mothers endured it so much and there is our mothers endured it yes when they were in their relationship but i know that now they will wish they did better they will wish they left those kind of relationship because a guy that is having the ability to eat you while still dating you we beat you up throw you inside the gutter i mean throw you cut your body to pieces when you are dating so please domestic violence and if you're a guy and you see a lady please go and see a therapist you need therapist to work and tell God to heal you because you need healing. If I got used to hit a lady, if I got a lady that used to hit a guy, that anything you have busy your boyfriend up, you have shared at him, you have given him what's emotional trauma to him, please, you also need a therapist. I need Jesus in your life. Go and pray. Pray, seek a therapy, go for therapy sessions, work on yourself. You it can be worked on. Worm is not beaten a day, but gradually and gradually, line upon line, precept upon precept, you will get better. In your life so please domestic violence is a no is a no for me it is a big no for me because there's no way if a lady is you no know, it's going to affect our service team even for guys likewise going to affect the guy's service team a bit to have no self and i'm like oh i don't let me talk oh don't let me express myself if i express myself i don't know how my guy will relate if i express myself i don't i don't know how my girlfriend will react to it so please don't condone trash don't condone nonsense don't condone things that that's real that will break your heart that that will cause you future trauma because some people are passing the negative eight of their first relationship to their current marriage i just people that have dated like say two three people after that person and that person aggression or the first or the first relationship to that person and that's because they're not taking time to heal so as someone that maybe your boyfriend is to eat to you while you guys are dating please Take out time to heal when we leave that relationship. Don't jump to another relationship. Take out time to heal. Take out time to work on yourself. Take out time to heal because you need to heal yourself. And Jesus is the person that can heal you the most. As you're seeking therapy, also begin to read the scriptures, fall in love with Christ, and see the way Christ has modeled the real kind of love to be like. If you can understand Christ's love for the church, you understand the kind of love that your spouse or your boyfriend should have for you. And that will be the standard, not anything the world is setting as standard for us. So if you have been blessed by this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And share to your friends. If anybody going through domestic violence, please talk to them. Tell them to go and seek therapy. Please. Tell them to seek therapy. And they should seek Christ too. And they should work on it. They should leave their relationship. That's the first and best thing they can give themselves. That's the first and the best thing they can give themselves that moment. Even if you will still go back to still dating that person, both of you should go and seek therapy separately. Work on yourself, then come back together. And mental violence is not only about beating, shouting. Some is mental, is emotional. When a guy, for example, is like, oh, it's my boyfriend, for example, like saying that, oh, you hit too much, you buy it, you buy it, you are obese. And I'm like, seriously? I don't know if because I've seen this movie, Kimbali or Kambali or Kambilisha. The lady, 
her boyfriend first broke up with her because he was saying she wasn't wife material so she worked on herself she stopped lazing around started learning how to cook started doing started cleaning became more tidy cleaning the house and everything then she she you no know, she chased after her passion started the art gallery and sorry i'm going to put i'm putting a spoiler to the movie but you can still check it out and the guy the guy was the guy came back when she has gotten her life back on track and and the girl already liking somebody else because the guy came back and she did everything for her previous boyfriend she had to go back to him the guy proposed to her they already planning marriage until one day she was eating the car and when she was it's nice she's her boyfriend now she can't eat she was just eating you know chewing the food i guess she was very very hungry and the girl was like look at you you're so base you're so fat and i'm like this one is so base this one is fat when that's known as his and on the big size what will you say and that was where the girl knew that she was she was never actually the problem it was the guy you know the guy pushed her in getting better but the guy also had issues and the guy just doesn't realize that oh so all this is why i was blaming myself i should actually be blaming you because you sow that seed of hatred for myself in me so please don't allow anybody to to trip you to put in emotional in a bad emotional state or in a bad mental health it can always be worked on don't let anybody put on unnecessary trauma or unnecessary trouble you can leave that relationship and say goodbye to it if video has blessed you please look, don't forget to like share and subscribe and please also share your view on domestic violence in relationships it's not even marriage yet though in relationships share your view about it and you know share your comments or that maybe you know someone that have experienced it share your comments so you can touch and bless somebody as many else can work on his or her own relationship and get better from it because there are plenty of stories and i will bring you somebody on this channel soon to come and talk about this domestic violence in relationship like both of us will be adding spice ginger atarodo to the discussion thank you very much i'll see you guys in my next video